Hi, I'm attorney Tom Lamb in North Carolina. In this Asbestos News Minute, I want to tell you about a new report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, sometimes referred to as the CDC, uh, based in Atlanta. And the report's name is Malignant Mesothelioma Mortality in the United States, 1999 through 2005. This article was published in the April 24 issue of the publication Morbidity and Mortality Weekly Report. The report concludes that uh, in the year 2010, deaths from malignant mesothelioma are expected to peak in the United States. Uh, in more detail, the number of malignant mesothelioma deaths increased from 2,482 in 1999 to 2,704 in 2005. Although the health threat uh, by, uh, posed by asbestos exposure has decreased over time, the report emphasizes that it has not disappeared altogether in the United States. Rather, asbestos-containing products continue to be imported legally for use in certain construction and transportation products. As background, in 1975 the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, banned the use of asbestos in most types of residential and commercial insulation products. In 1989, the EPA attempted to implement a total ban on the use of asbestos containing products. That ban, however, was overturned on appeal by a federal court in 1991. Uh, currently, it is estimated that 1.3 million uh, construction and general industry workers are potentially exposed to asbestos on a daily basis. Uh, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, otherwise known as OSHA, has established a workplace permissible exposure limit or PEL uh, for asbestos back in 1971. As recently as 2003, however, 20% of the air samples taken in the uh, construction industry sites that are monitored exceeded this uh, permissible exposure limit or PEL. Uh, going back to the mesothelioma death st statistics, Men accounted for 80.8% of the deaths, and whites or Caucasians accounted for 95.1% of mesothelioma deaths. Not surprisingly, mesothelioma mortality risk increased with age. 311 deaths involved people younger than 45, 8,858 deaths uh, occurred in people in the 75 years and older group. The study also pointed out that 26 states had mesothelioma death rates that exceeded the national average. The highest amongst those states were, and this is in order, Maine, Wyoming, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Washington. And just to be clear, that rating or that um, ranking is based on the number of deaths per million people. Uh, again, Maine, Wyoming, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Washington State top the list. And in summary, while the mortality rate from malignant mesothelioma is expected to peak in 2010, next year, it is important to recognize that mesothelioma mortality is not expected to return to background levels for another 50 years. For more information about asbestos and mesothelioma, visit asbestoslegalwatch.com. Thank you and have a good day.